You know, fun fact, I remember going to see Kindergarten Cop when it came out in the cinema. And I kind of loved it back then. So it's been a long while since I've checked it out. This movie's been released by Fabulous Films on Blu-ray and I was eager to check out Kindergarten Cop again. I was kind of shocked to see that Ivan Reitman directed this because I'd completely forgotten that fact and I could remember certain parts about the movie and that was about it. Now I knew this was a, a minefield of a movie. Was I going to love it as much as I did back in the day? Was I going to hate it? As it just so happens, I've been revisiting a lot of the Schwarzenegger movies from the late 80s, early 90s and I'm having a lot of fun with them. You can tell why the guy made it as a star. He has a kind of fun presence and he really pokes fun at himself in this movie. In the movie, he plays Kimball at the start. Um, he, he's you know got a beard. He's no nonsense. He's tough. He's got the, the long raincoat, the shotgun. He is just chasing down this man that he knows is bad news. He's trouble. This guy just happens to be looking for his wife and his son who ran away years prior. Um, and that's the basic city setup of the movie. Kimball gets his man, gets him locked up in jail, but discovers where the wife and the kid is and thinks that they have extra information that would help put this guy away for a long while. So he is sent along with a new partner that he doesn't really want, Phoebe, this small woman that is constantly eating all the way through the movie, and they go to uh, this place where. Phoebe is going to play the kindergarten cop to figure out um, who the child is or which one is his son and see if they can get him to you know, give evidence against this big nasty man who wouldn't you believe it somehow manages to get out of jail and goes looking for his kid because he has the information as well. But there is something that goes really wrong during this. Phoebe gets terribly ill and is unable to go to the school, so wouldn't you believe it, Kimball has to go and take on the role as kindergarten teacher. This man mountain who's used to dealing with rough and tumble bad guys has to tailor it down, control these young kids. And it's kind of heartwarming and fun. Now, there is a real change in tone from these two scenes. You get a kind of violent start kind of finish and in the middle you get a family friendly fun movie and it is incredibly funny still it's charming it's one that the time just passes by easily when you're watching the movie Schwarzenegger has that kind of charming charisma where he was able to do the the big massive blockbusters Terminator 2 or the kind of funny science fiction weird movies like The Running Man which I reviewed earlier on which was terrific or he did comedies twins, kindergarten cop, and they all kind of worked because the guy knows his strengths and his weaknesses and he plays towards it. He does it here as well. Even in this movie, there is t say lines that have become um, just quotable lines from Schwarzenegger. The tumour line I forgot was in this movie until he utters it and I was just killing myself laughing with it. The kids are fantastic, so funny and endearing that the whole relationship that they build up with Kimball is manufactured to hell, but it doesn't matter because it works and I buy into you know this guy softening up a little bit around about these uh, young minds. And I, I, all in all, it's a really fun movie. But you can see the bullet points and how it's been scripted and set up and manufactured in that way. But it's one of those movies where it doesn't matter because it delivers on what you're really hoping it's going to deliver. It's got Schwarzenegger kicking ass, it's got quotable catchphrase one-liners, it has uh, endearing factors with the kids, it has laugh-out-loud moments as well, and it has that action finale to wrap everything up. It is terrific. I'm really surprised by how much I love this one. Um, going back to it again, terrific had the chance of being really cheesy um, but it didn't do that it did something far better more rewarding more fun i thought it was great highly suggest picking this one up i'd love to know your opinion of this movie um, let me know in the comment box below your thoughts and i know there is a sequel as well starring Dolph Rundgren and i'm really curious about checking that one out now i'm 
going to check it out. I'm looking forward to it. So there we have it. Kindergarten Cop. Thanks for watching. Leave me your opinions down there. And we'll see you next time on Man vs. Film.